Hola y bienvenido. Hello and welcome everyone to another property video tour. Today I am in the village of Val da Torre, which is located halfway between Castelo Branco and Fundau, and we have lots to discover together. First, I will show you a beautifully renovated granite stone house, which is right next to me. And then just across the village street, two stone ruins with 3,000 square meters of land with lots of olive trees, fruit trees, a water well, and a big workshop building. You could make this your new home, holiday home, or rental investment. And we have different options of purchase. You can either purchase the house separately from the ruins and the land, or everything together as a package, or the ruins with land separately from the house. So you see there is lots of potential, lots of possibilities, and now I would say we have a look together. This is one of the entrance doors to the house. You can see it's a granite stone house with all new windows and doors. And from here we have view over the countryside. Val de Torre is a very quiet village. Just around the corner you can see the entrance gate. This is the neighborhood. From here let's walk in. Here, here's this metal entrance gate. Now we're in the walled yard, to the right a big tank which is used as a swimming pool. And you can see the granite walls with beautiful finishing. And this roofed outdoor space barbecue area, the boiler, the sink and washing machine. Here's a tap. And from here we walk up to the entrance of the kitchen. Yeah, with the traditional azulejo tiles. And here we are in the kitchen with dining for six persons. There's a fireplace with wood burner. On top you have a ceiling fan and the kitchen itself is very modern, beautiful, functional. <laughs> That's the view. Here you can close with those shutters. There's a micro oven. The oven you can see the tiles a double sink and from here we can go down the hallway here to the left a few steps are going down to one of the bedrooms here and the living area there, but we will see that later. First, we will see the bedroom. Actually, this has been two rooms. You can still see it here. One of the walls has been taken out. So you could easily build another wall again and make two bedrooms out of this one. It has air conditioning. A 
and two doors as it was two rooms before <laughs> here's another bedroom and from here you can already see the ruins this one with new roof on top and this one which I will show you later this window has mosquito net. And here's also air conditioning. And let's move on to the bathroom. Another window here. Let lots of light into the hallway. And here we have the entrance to the bathroom. Just see for the light. Yeah, here we go. This is very nicely done. Look at the window and <laughs> the mirrors. Uh. Lots of taste. Here's a heater. A bath. BD and toilet. And a spacious walk-in shower. The ceiling. This used to be a barn. <laughs> Completely converted. Right in front of me, a few steps down, is the entrance which I've showed you in the beginning. And here is a bedroom with window to the street. Huge wardrobe. There's a bit of storage space underneath the staircase. And on the opposite side, the living area. Look at the wooden ceiling. It gives a nice rustic ambience <laughs> combined with the modern touch. And here you can hang out in the hammock. <laughs> and a little bit further down, you have a sofa lounge area. Some plugs in the ground. And again, from here, you can see the ruins just across the street so you could renovate and then also make use of the land behind those ruins which is quite big we will go there in a bit I've walked down around the house. Here you can see the window of the living room. And to the other side, the ruins. So if you'd like to renovate, water and electricity are close for connection. This ruin is on two floors. Well, the floor does not exist anymore, <laughs> as you can see. But it's high enough. The roof has been replaced recently. It's made of metal beams and roof tiles. And here's space for your ideas. So this could be an interesting rental 
opportunity you can refurbish it to your taste Yeah, you can see the stairs that lead up to this door. And the ruin right next. It doesn't have a roof anymore. No windows. It also has the stairs for the upper division. But as you can see, the floor doesn't exist anymore. So we will walk through. This is quite a tiny door, but I fit in. And here to the sides, you can still see the walls from the neighboring buildings. The front wall, well, I've shown you from the front side. And this is, is what's left from the back wall. That's quite spacious. And this ruin gives access to the land that comes with the property about 3,000 square meters from underneath the citrus tree. There are many, many, many olive trees mature. In about one month they will be ready for the harvest. You can see a fence here, which is the boundary to the neighboring land. We will walk to the well. It's huge. And there are even more olive trees. Hello! It's me. Okay, look at this. It's a massive granite stone well. Huge. There is water in it and a pipe. So with a pump you could easily extract the water, use it for irrigation. I don't know if you can see. There's so much sun behind me. It's very deep. These piles will all be cleared up, don't worry. And to this side, this wall is the boundary, this stone wall. We have really nice views from here. This is the workshop. It's a non-registered building measuring about 6 by 16 meters with sandwich panels on top built of bricks. Now we are inside. So here you have lots of space. 
Use as a workshop, atelier, or crafts, or your private gym. <laughs> And stepping out of the workshop, I will walk with you to the boundaries, to the back of the property. We will send you the map of the boundaries on request. So here you can see another access to the garden and the workshop. From there, this wall is the boundary and to the other side here this corner and then you have a little bit of cork oak oak yeah and then along this these huge stones which are the wall to the bottom of the workshop And our tour ends here in the garden in the afternoon sun with the ruin and the house behind me. If you would like to know more about this property or schedule a viewing, please send an email to properties at homekeyportugal.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.